is uh, culture is a word that's said a lot, but if you break down, well, what is culture? All culture is, is the people that make up the organization. So you can't change culture without changing people because you can write a new vision statement or mission statement or whatever and put it everywhere and think that's going to change culture. But if the people don't change and the leaders don't change, then nothing actually changes. Um, it's like if I passed a new law and said, okay, this is going to change things. Well, if no one follows the law, then nothing's actually changed because the people haven't changed. Just this law says that this is how it is, right? And so I, I do think you have to have a new culture in place. And I think culture always starts top down. And so that's why we believe at LMI, you, the first person that should go through an LMI program is the CEO themselves, because they need to put their hand up and say, hey, I want everyone to see that I feel like I need to change and improve. So before I put you through it, I want you to know that I'm going through it myself and show a little humility and say, hey, I still have things to learn. Even though I've been in this business for 40 years and I work from the ground up and now I'm the CEO or whatever, I need to learn and I need to change too. And then as then when they put people on other teams through programs and through uh, the, this leadership development process, they can say, okay, well, they did it and they got results. So it must work for me too. And I'll do it too. And that starts to change the culture because it's showing the leadership, the top leadership in the organization is not too prideful to say that, well, I don't need it, but you do. Because then it's like, you know, well, you just think I'm a problem and you just think I need development, but you don't need it yourself. But the team here thinks you need it, but you're saying you won't take it, right? So to really change 